Hello my friends and welcome to Turn One Soul Ring. Uh, quick thing before we get into today's video. My voice is weird. I have a mild cold with maybe some congestion. It'll be fine. I'm not contagious through YouTube. <laughs> Uh, anyway, we're, I'm happy to be back here on Friday. I'm happy to be back doing Friday videos. Um, grad school's been a bit of a pain in the butt, but I'm getting through it. And uh, a couple of weeks ago was the Chinese New Year, and or the Lunar New Year, as some call it. And I had to, I just was thinking up of video ideas, and I thought, wait a minute. This year is the year of the rat. What haven't I done yet? Rat Tribal. So that means we're going to be doing a So You're Building for Maronar. Let's go! First, we must open a Booster Pack for Hope. Now, for those of you who don't know, Booster Packs for Hope is a project I've started here on the channel where I open a pack at the end of every single video here on the channel and I look through that pack on camera with you guys and uh, when the video is done being filmed, I put the rare and any other card with a dollar or more up on eBay where the proceeds from those cards being sold go to a different charity each month. Now, uh, my fans here, over on the Turn One Soul Ring Facebook page, vote for a different charity each month. Now, last month, the vote for this month, January's charities, was tied between the Innocence Project, which does great work helping uh, the wrongfully imprisoned uh, find their freedom, and Scholarship America, which does great work helping kids who are going to college find scholarships. Now, the vote was tied between those two charities, and we're going to be supporting both charities this month with the amount that I'm able to raise from the sale of these Magic Cards. That amount will go to both charities instead of being split. Now, if you want to help support Booster Packs for Hope, you can do so in one of three ways. Number one, you can simply go on over to the Turn One Soul Ring Facebook page and vote in the pinned poll at the top of the page for next month's charity. Number two, you, yes you, can nominate a charity in the comment section below. Nominate any charity you want, it will be up for the vote next month. Or number three, you, yes you, can send in a booster pack to Booster Packs for Hope by sending it to Turn One Soul Ring, P.O. Box 291616, Columbia, South Carolina 29229. And, who knows, your pack might be the next one open here on the channel. Alright, so Marinar's story is a bit of a trip, at least for me. Um, he meets the Soratami, or the Moon Folk, as they are known in non-Japanese language. On Kamigawa, he's not a planeswalker, he lives on Kamigawa, otherwise known as where all the commander staples come from. And a fellow by the name of Toshiro Umazawa uh, interrupts this meeting and um, he brings, I believe, Marinar in front of a crime lord, whose name I don't remember right now. And the crime lord beats up Marinar and eventually has Marinar track down Toshi. It's such a weird story. Looking at his card, there's clearly only one deck you really run with Marinar, and that is Rat Tribal. Seriously, you're going to put so many rats in this deck that Europe is going to be preparing for the Black Death 3, the Deathening. So, let's see how many rats we're going to cram into this deck. Spoiler alert, it's less than or equal to 99. Let's go. Okay, so you're probably wondering what creatures we need to run. And while yes, I agree with you that we need to run copious amounts of Rat Colony and Relentless Rats, and by copious I mean an absolute boatload, you know, you gotta get them to Europe fast. That being said, there are some great Rat support cards throughout Magic's history, and some rather interesting Rats in general. From Eldrain, we have the Piper of the Swarm, who gives our Rats menace, can make rats, and can use our rats to take over small germ until I mean take our opponent's creatures. Surprisingly, we have some interesting rat support from the plane of Ravnica, with Pack Rat, who is the reckless one of rats, Rat Catcher, who is essentially a self-repeating rat tutor, and Ogre Slumlord, who essentially turns things dying into more rats. Also, he gives death touch. Swarm of Rats has essentially the same idea as Pack Rat, except this little guy might need some Trample or Fear, which Maronar kindly gives us. Two rats that I thought were very unique, purely because I've never seen a Magic card do this outside of the Vanguard cards, are Locust Miser and Gnat Miser. 
These cards outright tell your opponents, nope, this is your hand size now. It's somewhat like Gen Gataxius, except your opponents still get to have a hand. Now, if this being a tribal deck, you get access to the great tribal support pieces, like Door of Destinies, Vanquisher's Banner, Icon of Ancestry, and good old Coat of Arms. Because this is a mono black deck, do consider that Bantu's Monument and Jet Medallion are your friends. And who can't forget that great card, Cage Sun, which will help out a lot with a small buff and with potential mana problems. Speaking of potential mana problems, you shouldn't have many when you have access to cards like Crypt of Agadim, which allows you to get mana from dead rats, where most just get the plague. Cabal Coffers, which for the price of a tap soaring, gets you both loads of mana, and Cabal Stronghold, which gets you even more mana. Also on the topic of lands, do consider Westvale Abbey as sacrificing rats to get a hard to remove evasive 9-7 demon is a very good trade-off. Also on the topic of demons, may be considered an Elbrus the Binding Blade, a 13-13 demon who gets bigger the more people die. That sounded less dark in my head. Anyway, that's also pretty good. Also, this deck is maybe one of two that gets to use the card Thrumming Stone, which means you can essentially get out one rat colony or relentless rats, then all of a sudden, you have so much of a board state, you might need a second playmat. Definitely a great card for this deck, despite its uselessness everywhere else in Commander. Alright, some miscellaneous black cards to think about are Ayara, first of Lothwain, who will get us card draw and hurt our opponents when our rats die. Magus of the Coffers, because, well, redundancy. Micaeus the Unhallowed, because, well, undying rats. Kyrick, son of Yogmoth, who will get big off of our rats. And Patriarch's Bidding, which will resurrect all of our rats all at once, which is scary. Also, Plague of Vermin, which is a neat little card. Everyone gets a blocker for each life paid, and then you probably win because you have the biggest and most buffest army. So, what do you think? Perhaps Rat Tribal is just the thing you needed to fight off your play group, Or maybe it's just a bit too... Plaguey. Let me know in the comment section below. If you enjoyed today's video, please do consider liking and sharing this video with all of your friends who play Magic. It really does help the channel grow. Something else that helps the channel grow is subscribing. Please do consider subscribing. Make sure to ring the bell so you know when the next Turn 1 Soul Ring video is uploaded. Also, it's time to open that booster pack for hope, so let's get on that. Alright, just finished the video. Let's crack into this pack. Who knows, we might get an Oko. That would, now that would be cool, an Oko. That would be actually pretty ball. Alright. First card is Reeve Soul, which is a nice little removal. This definitely was made for draft, this card specifically. Seven Dwarves! That will actually go great in my Dwarf Vehicle deck. I love the fact that you can have seven of them. Which makes so much sense flavor-wise, and if they didn't have that, I'm pretty sure everyone would just be a little bit sad. Steel Gaze Griffin. That sounds like something that should be in Mirrodin, but uh, it's got part of that second card draw uh, synergy. Smitten Swordmaster, which is a nice little part of Night Tribal. Garen Brig Carver. Nice. Moonlit Scavengers. I do like the art on this card. These don't look like Merfolk, though. As much as they are Merfolk. Bartered Cow, otherwise known as probably one of the greatest cards in all of Magic. Blow Your House Down, that is a giant wolf. Idyllic Grange, not bad. A little plus one, plus one. Alright, we are now on to the um, uncommons, I believe. Yep, uncommons. So we're going to put these commons over here. And we have Animating Fairy. Nice little uh, artifact piece, which might go in, what, very well into uh, an artifact commander deck. Glass Casket. Nice little um, kind of um, temporary exile piece. Lock Dragon. Love the name of that. Uh, whenever I enter, this is not bad. It's a nice little card draw, and our rare is... Fabled Passage! Wow! Then we get a nice uh, foil Mystic Sanctuary, but we got a Fabled pass Passage. 
I think this one's going for quite a lot. So this will help raise money for a really great, it's a couple of really great charities out there. So if you want to potentially get this fabled passage or any other card in here that's worth a dollar or more, I don't think there are any, but you never know. You simply can go on over to the eBay page, the link is in the description, and simply put your bid in for this card, and who knows, you might be the one to win it, and all winners of cards on eBay get a nice little handwritten message from me uh, to go along with the card. And all cards are shipped triple sleeved because I don't want your card, specifically your card, getting damaged on the way to you. So, remember, thank you guys for watching the video, remember, have great games, and have a good one.